All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James and Ting Ting. We're at our home base here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And today, we're gonna be making the most famous Malaysian street food, nasi lemak. And you can follow along with us. I have no idea how to cook, but we are staying positive and strong at home, hopefully just like you, and calling up some of our best friends and chef friends to teach us how to cook street food dishes from around the world. This is Food Ranging at Home. We're gonna be making the sambal, we're gonna be making the coconut rice, we're gonna be making a lemongrass chicken, sliced cucumber, fried ikan bilis anchovy, fried peanuts, and it's gonna be all eaten by hand here on this banana leaf. And it's all gonna be overlooking Kuala Lumpur, my favorite city in the world. We've got the Petronas Towers in the back, we've got the KL Tower, we've got the National Mosque. The excited thing? and we're calling up our good buddy Mark in Penang, who's a Penang local, Malaysia's most famous food city, and he's gonna be teaching us how to make the nasi lemak, all of the ingredients he's gonna be showing us step by step. You can check out his Instagram in the description below. He's an awesome food guy. He creates great recipes. He leads food tours in Penang, and he's an expert. Okay, and Ting is just rinsing the ikan anchovy. And ikan is such an important part of Malaysian cuisine, guys. These are found in almost all dishes of Malaysia, whether they're used in a stock to give the sambal the nice fishy ikan anchovy flavor, or whether they're fried and eaten like we're gonna be eating them today. Okay, and we just finished prepping all of the ingredients. Take a look at this, guys. We're gonna be making lemongrass chicken. We're using chicken breast today. We've got about four or five nice chicken breasts. We've got about one tablespoon of shrimp paste, two nice, plump, big red chilies. We've got some ginger. We're gonna just use a section of this. We've got about six stalks of lemongrass. We've got a nice plate's worth of curry leaves. We've got a cucumber. We've got some nice pandan leaves here. This is gonna go in with that coconut rice. It's gonna be cooked with coconut milk. We've got some hard boiled eggs, dried chili, about eight dried chili, and we're soaking these for about half an hour. We've got about 15 shallots here, and then we've got peanuts and ikan, dried anchovies. We're gonna fry these in some oil, and those are gonna be served crispy on the side with our rice. We've got tamarind paste, salt, pepper, and Thai rice, and a food processor. Let's get into it. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it, guys. Okay, we're gonna call up my buddy Mark here, and he's gonna show us how to make the delicious nasi lemak. What's up, buddy? How's it going? How are you? Good, good. good. I'm gonna point you to the camera. So my buddy Trevor James is calling and he's with him. And we are going to cook nasi lemak today. Yeah, looking forward to just uh, show you how to make nasi lemak, bro. Nasi lemak itself, it's traditionally known as a poor man's food, just like pizza. So this is good for energy all day, working outdoors, yeah. in outdoors. the fields, <laughs> or for the army. Yeah, we're gonna do rice. We're gonna do the marinade for the chicken. Then we're gonna do the fry up the ikan bilis and the peanuts. Then we're gonna do the chili paste for the sambal. Uh, and lastly, frying up the chicken. Yeah. Let's do it. So let's get some ginger. How much ginger are we gonna use? Mark laid out all the steps for the coconut rice. One thumb sized ginger, equal parts coconut milk to water, along with Malaysia's very special pandan leaf. Malaysia's very own vanilla. Nasi yeah. lemak, coconut rice with pandan ginger and salt. Okay, yeah. and then we're just gonna cook it like regular white rice, yes, right? Yes, like regular white rice. And next up, Mark taught us how to make the marinade for the lemongrass chicken. Throwing in lemongrass and a little brown sugar and oil in a food processor, and then putting it all on the chicken with some light soy sauce. Simple and delicious. This is gonna be so good. You can smell that lemongrass and sweetness from the sugar we added in there. Good, bro. I'm glad it's already smelling really good. So, we're just gonna let this rest for a comfortable 15, 20 minutes. And next up, Mark is gonna show us how to make the sambal. We're gonna start with the blending. Shallots and chili. Okay. Here we go. 
Oh yeah. Add in just a bit of water to help the blending process. Okay, next up we're gonna blend in the processor here these two nice, big, fresh, giant chili. And we've got about eight or nine whole dried chilies soaked here. So I'm gonna close the lid and then we get this processing as well. Beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at the chili. Wow. That is looking spicy, man. No, it's not. It's not? No, you'll be fine. How fine should we make this? The finer, the better. And yeah. then what's up next, buddy? Tamarind paste, like this, oh, this much. One tablespoon yeah. of tamarind paste into a bowl. Yeah, so just one cup of water into the bowl. And then you just use the water, right? Yeah, you use just the water. Okay, so next up, Mark is gonna show us how to make the peanuts and the anchovies and then the sambal and then we're gonna have a delicious feast. Let's do it. So peanut goes in. And after a quick shallow fry of the peanuts. Really? Ting helped her grandma do this when she was a kid in China. And then the anchovies, we were ready to make the sambal, the soul of Malaysian cuisine. And we're gonna do sambal, right? Yes, we're gonna do the sambal now. So let's okay. add in about five to six tablespoons of canola oil. Now, shallots goes in. Ooh, look at that shallot. We will saute this for a good three to four minutes until it's translucent. So saute it over medium heat. Oh yeah, there they go. Getting xiang, getting so xiang. So aromatic. Yes, you can actually add the chili in already. And how much chili should I add in? One tablespoon to start? One and a half, maybe. That's it, mixing it in. Yeah, beautiful. And you can instantly smell that chili. Wow. Oh yeah, there it is, coming together. How long should we fry this for, buddy? I would say three minutes or so at the same three time. Minutes. This is when you should add in your, your shrimp paste. Half a tablespoon. This is strong stuff. And you just crumble it together, right? Yeah, crumble it and then fry it together. Add in some water. Add in. And I'm gonna add in, we're gonna add in one cup, one rice cup of, yes. of water, water, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, look at that. Wow. At this point of time, you can measure out three quarter of a cup of tamarind water. This is fun learning how to make nasi lemak together. Okay, so Mark is just explaining that right now when it's bubbling, after you've added the tamarind water and the chili, you can give it a quick taste to see if it's either too spicy or too sour. And then you can fix that by adding more sugar in, right? Yeah, that's right. Mmm! Oh, it's spicy. Yeah. But not too spicy. Right. It's not gonna be like the bird's eye chili that you got, bro. No. No. Oh, it's nice. So mine is gonna be like this. Uh, a little bit spicy, a bit red, but uh, Look man, I'm happy with the result. The next step is when you add in half of this anchovies. Oh, oh yeah. that's where it's gonna get the flavor. Yeah. Wow, right in the wok there. Bubble it for a good, I would say two minutes. So yours, you should put in about one and a half teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons. And after you stir, give it a taste. How's it, bro? Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. So last but not least, the curry leaves. I'm gonna use about two stalks like this much. Oh, curry leaves. Yeah. Let it simmer for 20 seconds and then you are done. Wow, buddy, this is good. One more dish to make the lemongrass chicken. Okay, let's compare. There's ours. Wow, how's yours look, buddy? So this is mine. Oh. Oh, yours looks good too. Oh man, yours looks more colorful. The smell of the econ in there is great. Okay, and next up, Ting is a huge chicken lover. So she is gonna make the chicken and Mark is gonna teach us how to do it. Oil goes in. Add in that oil. So get everywhere coated. Make sure the skin goes in first. Skin side down. Skin down. Yeah. Oh! Give it about wow. three, three and a half to four minutes on each side, and then we can flip it around. 
Whoa, look at that full pan of lemongrass chicken. It smells delicious, man. Yes, sir. And Ting is cooking it over there. You having fun, Ting? And we got the banana leaf ready. We're gonna be eating it out here. Oh yeah, and look at that flip. The brown skin. Oh man, that's amazing. Wow, nicely done. Okay, final two steps. Get some cucumber slices. And then we've got hard boiled eggs as well. Yeah, bro. And we're gonna put all of the nasi lemak all over this and have a feast. Here comes the chicken. Wow, lemongrass chicken. It's all ready, look at that. Full of peanuts and ikan, home cooked. And there's the cucumber, sambal, and hard boiled eggs. This is so cool. Wow, and there's the sambal. Wow. That's it. And here it is, guys. Oh, look at that. We made this together. Thanks to Mark, our buddy Mark. We're gonna call him in a second and compare our nasi lemak. But first, let's take a look at what we got here. Coconut rice, lemongrass chicken, delicious sambal infused with ikan anchovies, curry leaves, chili, dried chili, it's all here. We got hard boiled eggs, although I think ours turned out to be more like soft boiled, sliced cucumbers, fried ikan anchovy, fried peanuts, all over a delicious bed of coconut pandan ginger infused rice. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wow, look at your rice. Yes, dude. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at ours. Oh, oh. that's a feast, brother. Yeah, well, thank you to you for teaching us, us this amazing recipe. No problem, brother. It's all about sharing and, uh, you know, you being new to Malaysia, bro, we got to kickstart the right way. Thank you, man. This. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry after cooking all that. Bro, let's eat. I'm gonna eat with my okay. hands. Okay, yeah, me too. Get a bit of the anchovies. Go oh, into yeah. the rice. Peanut, oh, look at that egg. Oh, and go in for it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do it too. And I think I'm gonna add a little extra sambal oh, on go top for it. of my anchovy <laughs> rice there. Oh, man. Let's try Cheers. it out. Mm. Mm. Bro. Whoa! Legit. And you did it, not me. You cooked it, bro. Whoa! So, uh, good That's job your recipe, to you. Man. We're gonna have an egg sambal ting's yeah. idea. Adding the egg <laughs> sambal together. Cheers, Let's man. Try it out. Salute. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, ting. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The sambal is great, man. Wow. It's incredible. Sample, it's really spicy, but this one, yeah, I think it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro, enjoy. Okay. See you. See you. Yeah. Wow, it's so good. I'm glad. I'm glad, man. Gotta give a big thank you to Mark for providing us with this recipe and teaching us how to do this. He was so calm as we were panicking, wondering what peanuts were gonna burn, whether everything was going smoothly. He was comforting us, guiding us through. Go follow him on Instagram because he's a great guy, great chef and really good. really good, wow. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below. Subscribe as well, click the bell notification button and go check out Mark's Instagram, Simply Anak, link down below for the recipe as well as my blog, I'm sharing it there too. Thanks for watching guys.